Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to work out these two problems where you have secant and tangent and we have some powers. So let's take a look at the first one where you have odd powers. More specifically, tangent has an odd power. So if that happens, you wanna save a factor of secant times tangent for the du portion, because we're gonna be using u substitution. And then if you have the second case where you have even power for secant tangent, more specifically for secant, then you actually wanna save a factor of secant squared of x. And I'll show you what this means uh, in a little bit when we work out the problem, but pretty much that's what you wanna remember when you have something like this. So let's take a look at the first problem. So we're going to rewrite, since we see tangent has an odd power, so we're going to save a factor of secant times tangent. So let's pull out one secant and one tangent from the problem. So here's how it's going to look like. So you'll have the integral. If I pull out one factor of secant cubed, then I am left with a secant squared. And if I pull out one factor from tangent cubed, I'm left with tangent squared of x. Then we have secant x tangent x dx. Now we're going to save this for the du portion because we're going to choose u to be secant. So that means you want to rewrite the entire integral in terms of secant because everything will be replaced with secant. So let's go ahead and do that. So that means I need to change this guy right here. So the identity that's going to be useful for you, that's going to be this one, tangent squared of x plus one, is secant squared of x. So that's the identity we're going to use for this particular problem. So let's go ahead and rewrite tangent squared in terms of um, secant. So this can be replaced with the following. So we have the integral of secant squared of x and tangent squared of x, that's going to be secant squared of x minus one, and we're just gonna rewrite the rest. So this is secant x times tangent x dx. Now, once I have done that, now I'm ready to make my substitution. So let u be equal to um, secant of x. Then we know du is going to be secant x tangent x. And that's exactly what we wanted. So now that means my entire integral can be replaced with this new variable we selected u. So our integral now becomes the integral of secant squared. Well, that's u squared. And then this is secant squared minus one secant tangent. That is our du. And this can be integrated by using power rule of integration. So we know this. Before that, let's go ahead and distribute. So this is the integral of u to the fourth minus u squared du. And now we can use the power rule of integration. So this is u to the fifth over five minus u to the third over three plus c. So we finished integrating successfully. Now let's substitute. Well, u is secant. So that's what I'm gonna replace with u. So this is secant to the fifth of x over five minus secant to the third of x over three plus c. So that's how we integrate something like this. So pretty much you wanna understand that if you have secant and tangent where the powers are odd, save a factor of secant tangent and then rewrite the integral. Now let's go ahead and try the second problem. So we see even powers. So that means uh, specifically secant has even power. So we're going to save a factor of secant squared. So let's rewrite. So this would be secant squared of x times tangent. You can just keep it as it is. And we have secant squared of x. So I pull out a factor of secant squared from secant to the fourth of x. Now I'm going to reserve this for du. That means everything is gonna be written in terms of tangent because if you remember, if you pick u to be tangent of x, then your derivative is going to be secant squared of x dx. That's why we're going to rewrite the integral in terms of tangents so that it can be replaced with u. 
that means I only need to replace this one. So let's recall the identity again. We know that tangent squared of x plus one is equal to secant squared of x. That's the identity we're going to use here. So replace secant squared with tangent squared plus one. So we have the integral of tangent squared of x plus one times the second factor we don't need to change because it's already in terms of tangent. And the last piece, of course, that's reserved for the u. All right, now we can do our substitution. So here, I know u is tangent, that means du is secant squared. So if I rewrite the integral in terms of this variable u, we will have u squared plus one because tangent is u, and then u to the fourth du because secant squared x dx, that's du. All right, now it looks like a polynomial. Let's distribute and integrate. So this is equal to the integral of, here we're going to distribute. This is u to the sixth plus u to the fourth. And we're integrating respect to u. Now let's integrate. So this is equal to u to the seven over seven plus u to the fifth over fifth plus c. So we finish integrating. Now replace what u is u is right here, that's tangent. So we're gonna go ahead and replace that at the end and that will be our final answer. So we have tangent to the seventh of x over seven plus tangent to the fifth of x over five plus c. So that is our final answer for this problem.